Hi there, and this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Okay, I think we've had enough of the North London derby aftermath and since it's a Thursday, we will pick into the second tier of English football and see how the Premiership hopefuls are doing. Let's first look at the results from the weekend. After the short defeat to Cardiff, leader Southampton bounced back in style, putting four past Watford. Middlesbrough inked out a scoreless draw with Reading and remain undefeated. Crystal Palace, who led twice, eventually settled for a draw with West Ham. In a match where former Arsenal number one Manuel Almunia made his lone debut for the Hammers. Elsewhere, Leicester, Ipswich and Leeds played to three points at home. But sadly for Cardiff, they failed to carry the momentum of beating Southampton last week when they lost to Hull. Blackpool hammered 5 past bottom of the table Bristol City, while Nottingham Forest's loss to Birmingham at home saw manager Steve McLaren resigning from the job. But Birmingham fans were singing to a different tune. Huge problems at Forest with its chairman Nigel Doty, indicating that he too will step down at the end of the season. Forrest issued an official statement saying that besides McLaren, the chairman must also accept responsibility for the state the club is in, quote unquote. And in conclusion, they will look for replacements for both the chairman and a manager. It's a massive ask for anyone who will be taking, the, taking over McLaren's job. That is, if anyone will want to accept the job with Forrest currently fourth from bottom. Let's look at the championship standings. Is 10 games enough time to evaluate a manager's performance or is it enough to determine a chairman's commitment? Forest have two wins and both were away from home. Only Coventry, Millwall and Bristol City are worst off, with the three only having one win to their credit. To the brighter side of things, Southampton still lead with no change in the positions for Middlesbrough, Derby, West Ham and Brighton. Howell leap into sixth as Cardiff slip down three places to ninth, while Leeds move back into the top half. And that's a wrap for today. Tomorrow we will look into some of the best and worst performers in the Premier League. Until then, from the team and I, it's bye for now.